Hey everyone, if you're looking to build graphical user interfaces with Python in 2025, you might be wondering, what's the best framework to learn? With so many options, it can be overwhelming. But don't worry, in this video, we'll break down the top Python UI frameworks, their strength, and which one is right for you. Let's dive in. Python is mainly known for data science, web development, and automation, but it's also a solid choice for creating desktop applications. The key is choosing the right UI framework that fits your needs. So, let's explore the best one in 2025. If you want a powerful, professional-looking user interface with cross-platform support, PyQt and PySide are excellent choices. QT is widely used in industries like finance, engineering, and CAD software. It has a steep learning curve but offers tons of features. Tikinta. This is Python's built-in GUI toolkit. It's simple, lightweight, and great for beginners. However, it lacks modern aesthetics and advanced capabilities. If you're making quick tools or learning GUI basics, Tikinta is still relevant. Want to build mobile-friendly apps? Kiv is the way to go. It supports multi-touch, is open source, and works on Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, and Android. It's ideal for interactive applications but can be tricky to style compared to web-based alternatives. For Linux enthusiasts, PyGTK is a solid choice. It integrates well with the Genome desktop and provides a native look and feel on Linux systems. However, it's not as popular for cross-platform applications. PyWebView If you prefer web technologies but want a desktop app, PyWebView lets you run a web-based interface inside a lightweight native window. Think of it like a mini browser running a web app. Looking for a super fast GPU accelerated GUI? DAPI GUI is gaining traction, especially for scientific visualization and game UI development. It's simple and efficient, but not as future rich as QT. So, which one should you choose? Here's a quick guide. For industry standard professional user interfaces, PyQT or PySide. For beginners and simple projects, Tikinta. For mobile and touch friendly apps, TV. For Linux desktop apps, PyGTK. For web tech based GUIs, PyWebView. For performance heavy applications, DAPI GUI. Ultimately, it depends on your goals and project needs. That's a wrap. Now that you know the top Python UI frameworks for 2025, which one are you excited to try? Let me know in the comments. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See you in the next one.